So now that we have done our modeling and basic rigging, it's time to animate our car. So to animate our car, we're going to use a path animation technique or a spline path animation technique. So to do that, I'm going to go over here onto the top view and in the top view, I'm going to grab this pen right here. So I'm going to go over here onto the spline pen tool. So on the spline pen, I'm just going to click and drag uh, the, the a path where I want to animate my car into. So let's say this is the car path animation. I'm going to press space bar right here. So on the null object, what I'm going to do now is right click on the animation tag. I'm going to align to spline. And in the spline path, as you can see right here, I'm just, just going to drag the spline, which is related on right over here. And then on the null object, that's the align to spline right here. I'm going to enable tendential. So it actually rotates along the path as you can see right here. So as I actually move along, you can see that it rotates along over here. So let us go to the perspective view right here and let us see something else. So you can see that the car is going beneath. So to correct that, I'm going to go over here into the side view for reference right here. And I'm going to uh, expand the null and I'm going to take the master object right over here. I've made it a, a parent of everything else. So I'm going to go on to the master object. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to drag these up. So I'm going to the object mode, drag it up right above the ground, as you can see right here. So over here, you can see that everything is up now, just like that. So now you can see that there's the animation over here. So I can go over to the null and I can change the position of the object right over here, just like this. So what I want to do is I want to animate the tires along as well. And I want to animate the rotation as of the tires as well. So first of all, I'm going to add in a keyframe right here on the position. And at the end, I'm going to just drag it along and add in a position. So you have a simple car animation, as you can see, which is quite fast for my taste. So I'm just going to uh, press Control Z to remove that keyframe right there. I do not want that out. So I'm just going to, uh, let's say, do something like around 200 frames, just like that. So that's the amount of car frame animation that I want. So I'm going to go over here onto the position and at the end, increase the position right here. And there you go, that's the car path animation right over there. So the car is moving along, moving along uh, the overall track as you can see. So it actually rotates around, around a bit at the end because, the, because of the path you can see. The, so the path, as you can see, seems to be straight at the end, which is not a good news. But anyways, this is what I want. So I'm just going to go over here and I do not want that path animation right there. So I'm just going to uh, delete this animation. So I'm just going to delete this keyframe right here on the animation tag on the animation view. So I'm going to go over on to the type of viewport i'm going to go to animate and over here at the end so i'm just going to remove these out so not going to work down with the dope sheet i'm going to go over here on on the f curve mode right there so i can go over here and then select the now object so expand it on the position you can see that i can zoom in and out so i'm just going to go over here and go over to the end just going to delete out this keyframe right there. So there you go. You can see that that's just the beginning animation now. So now I'm going to go over here on to the normal mode again on the standard mode. And over here, I'm going to change the position. Let's go over here, change the position right around in this section right here and end it there. So now once I play it, the rotation problem won't happen again, just like that. So you can see that everything else is there. So it actually goes along the path just like that. So I want the car tires to turn a bit just like that as it goes, goes along. So over here, I want the car to, um, tire to remain straight just like that. So I'm going to go over into the user data and add in a keyframe to the turn. And over here, just like that, as it turns out a bit, I'm just going to turn it out just like that and add in a keyframe as well. So once you go back, you can see that the car tire is turning slowly and the turn actually happens just like this. So this looks much more natural, just like that. I'm going to add in keyframe to rotation as well. So I'm going to add in rotation right around here into minus thousand. And over here, I'm just going to uh, take it all the way up. So it, it looks like the car is rotating around. So I'm going to rotate it out all along just like that. And there you go. So now once it actually starts up, you can see a bit of a rotation animation onto the car tires as well, just like that. You can see that it actually vibrates in the beginning, just like that. And there you go. 
So there's the rotation animation and the turning animation that goes along as well. So that makes the animation look much more realistic as you can see right there. So once everything is done, I'm going to work around with the target camera right here. So everything looks quite natural. So I'm just going to go over here and you can see that this is the target. So I'm going to go over here and keep the target on to the car right here. So you can see that if you move the target, it actually works around with the car just like that. So one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the target onto the car right here. So I'm going to make the target a child of the uh, null object right here. That is the car itself. And now if I were to go over here, you'll see that something else happens. If you were to play it, you can see that the target is moving along with the car animation right there. So it follows along just like that. So there you go, it actually follows along the car. So now I'm going to go over on to the camera right here. And then this I can uh, add in keyframes to everything else. So I'm going to turn on automatic keyframe right here, play this around just like that. And then over here, let's say I want to change the uh, camera port right here. So I can go over here and change the battery right here, just change around, just click and drag and I can change the angle of the camera just like that. I can also change the focal length right over here. And from over here, as you can see, so this is how it starts. It goes over here. And let's say I just want to change the angle all around. So I'm just going to go over onto the camera right here. Just click and drag right here. And then you can see that everything else changes. So let me just go and change the view right here. Just move it around over onto this side, just like that. And that's the camera animation going on right about there. So gonna go over here again, so you can see that that rotates around. Let's say I want the camera to be all the way over here by the time that happens. So this actually looks around like that. And there you go. So let's see how the camera animation looks like now. So that's the starting, you actually go around, it follows the car right over there and actually goes around and right from underneath, which is not actually looking good. So I'm just going to change the animation view right there. So from the side, just like that, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to move this above. So I'm just going to go over here at the end right here, move this line above just like that, and move this one out above as well, just like that. And I'm going to turn on the camera view just like that. And there you go, let's see the animation now. So it actually goes along the path just like that. It goes along and the car gets down and the animation ends. So this is how you can make a car path animation uh, and use a rigged car and camera animation to create a wonderful animation quite easily. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.